Hello and welcome to Wolfram. So today I'm going to be doing a world tour of my current world. It's going to be a bit of exploring for me as well. I haven't played in, a, I think, over a month. I don't really recall exactly what's going on, but anyway. This is right after the, you can see the amount of time I've played, 606 hours, pretty crazy. So this is the world. Yes, all of this time has been spent pre-Skeletron. Um, I have a life, I swear. Yeah, since it was after the tutorial, how to delete your achievements, reset your achievements. Yeah, that's all the achievements that I just got by existing. So, first thing you can see, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff everywhere. Just crazy nonsense. So this takes up about a seventh, about a six and six point five out of one one out of seven, like something like that, of the entire world is my house in this world. Um, I really enjoy building. Boo. Anyway, so wait, what? So I'm not really sure where to start. There's not really a good place to start because, like, where do I start? The bottom left and move upwards like a TV loading the screen. Uh, so I'm just going to wander around. So this is the main area of the house. This actually started as a cave, believe it or not. You can kind of see the original shape. There was a, it was a cave at some point. Um, and it just like, all of this was originally the cave and it moved down. This main area at the beginning, there are a few chests that are still here from when I originally put them down. We got clutter random. It's like boss, boss summons and grab bags, I guess and lockboxes, which are pretty unique. Tombst tombstone chest, pretty standard. Kaka, Supreme Random, name tells you all you really need to know about this. I was, for some reason, trying to get a max stack of every item in the game. I gave up, obviously, whenever they made it so items stack higher than 99, which is a great change, one of my favorite changes, if not my favorite change ever added in the game. Uh, each one of these took five critters per, like, one. One of these. Each one of these is five critters per thing. Yeah, I... I don't know what I'm doing with my life either. Anyway, clay bro- <laughs> I'm gonna be getting random achievements throughout the video, I, I assume. So, clay blocks. I am still building with, um, building herb farm areas, silt chest. Life crystals, good amount there. Haha, <laughs> lol XD, it's me. Most of the dressers have names, if not all of them. Ice shit. These chests are just kind of randomly placed about. Yeah, more max stacks back when I built this, I guess. Um, here's the critter chest over here. I am loot, yeah. Look at all these guys. Look at them. Look at all of them. That's only chest number one. Here's a, here's more. Um, I somehow have not gotten a golden butterfly yet. I don't get it. I've seen this many butterflies and I have not seen a golden one. Um, I guess I'll just keep showing you what the chests are, potions. There was a second chest, but I realized well, now that potions can actually stack in a convenient way. This second chest is kind of useless. Glass bottles, also a chest that probably doesn't need to exist. Up here is wires and wire-related things. No idea how I got these, um, because obviously this is pre-Skeletron. That's definitely a glitch of some kind. <laughs> Only one of those, I guess, because this world was made before the second chest. Came back 621 to do all stuff. Game with C4H. I keep changing my username. This is what my piggy bank looks like. I got a few items, but then since I restart, uh, reinstalled Windows, I lost them. Like, dang. I had I had the absorbent sponge as well. I'm sure I'll get it again though. It's just like a fishing quest. We got dirt here. Multiple dirt chests are gonna be less useful than they used to be, but that's a good problem to have. Look at how much dirt I have. Good amount of stone. Second chest, glass. If both of those ever get filled with glass, that is a lot of sand that I wasted. Crim sand, mud blocks, team blocks, green bricks, pink. Got all the dungeon bricks, random bricks. That is a lot of candy cane, my friend. <laughs> a lot of candy cane and palm trees. Okay, what's this row down here? This is die chest number two. Where's die chest? Die chest number one is here. Got yellow and black and bright yellow. No, it's full stacks of those. Well, not anymore, I guess. Died 3 is just preemptive, I guess. Quite a lot of marigolds. There's a sign up here that says how much marigold I need for every every item at a max stack. Very outdated. You're going to see that a lot, though. The fact that it's been outdated. Snow, granite, ice, crimstone, ebonstone. And I also painted these chests. It's hard to, kind of hard to tell with some of them, but other ones more obvious. Ash blocks, cactus, palm... Four real, rich mahogany, ebon woods, shade wood, dynasty wood, 
And then we get back to the random chest, quite a lot of random stuff. Although all of these other random chests are less important now that they stack so much higher. Because I think an entire chest or something was all candy canes and like Christmas related stuff. Got red ice. Some stuff in here could be useful, useful in the future. I'm not sure what to do with that stuff. Anyway, obsidian blocks. It's a lot of obsidian. Gray bricks from building, obviously obsidian. Stone bricks, bamboo, stone slabs, slime blocks, marble blocks. Quite a lot of marble. I've definitely been doing some mining. So this whole video is hopefully not going to be lo me looking through chests, but like, this is the mushroom area. This was originally where the truffle was going to live, but uh, it's since been discontinued and is now just kind of like a place that looks cool. So most fishing areas in this house have these, um, kind of <laughs> nice frame rate, dude, because of the mannequins. So most areas in the game have a complete or mostly complete fishing drop pool. So this little mushroom area is kind of, yeah, it's nifty. This little area, this is zero zero. This is where spawn is. Um, as you can see there, this didn't used to be there. So you would have to like remember where spawn is. Bit of a starter chest for when new people join the world, they can grab some stuff from here. Maybe kind of a random assortment of stuff, but some of it could be useful to a new player. Uh, we got some this is the mannequin room, obviously. This is from melee, ranged, mage, summoning armors, random armors, with a smiley face for some reason, ancient armors, wooden armors. So this space is for pearl wood, this one is for ancient necro, random, yeah. These used to be vanity, but now they give an armor stat, so they technically, they technically are armor. This is pre-Skeletron reminder, so like, obviously I don't have that much stuff. So above the mushroom area is, this is the enemy spoils room, I believe is what it's called. Um, this world I started in around January 26th. So yeah, enemy spoils room. Not gonna check all of these, don't worry, but it's like, we can if you want. I mean, I guess you can skip forward in the video if you don't wanna see what's in here. I got 500 lens. I used a ton of that to fight Ike Thulu, so obviously there was way more at one point. Um, good amount of stuff in here, but I haven't played very consistently since about September of last year. You can see it's like, that was how many months ago? Like four or five months ago, maybe six. But good amount of pearls from fishing. Black lens, 45 black lens. Tattered Claw, Fallen Stars, which are all in, in my inventory now. You don't really need a chest for that, because ammo slots, unless you're using all four, you're like a rain, you have a ranged loadout, you can use that for Fallen Stars. Pink Shell, Baits, got all my Master Bait with me. I've done quite a lot of fishing quests, which isn't ending well for me, because I keep deleting my achievements for tutorial videos, because I keep deleting my channel for whatever reason. One reason or another, there's throwing weapons. I tried to order it by damage dealt. The weakest ones are these, which... I don't know why paper airplanes are so rare, but I have like 21 of them. It's pretty cool. Well-fed number one, well-fed number two. That's how, that's how many I've collected so far. Um, now that they stack over 30, kind of outdated, but you know. Most things in this world are outdated. <sighs> that's a lot of wing materials for a pre-hard mode character. 19. How rare is it? I don't even remember. It's like a 1 in 100 or that 1 in 500 drop. I don't recall. From Harpies. Seashells, chest chest, kites. Bullets from leftover from the uh, Skeletron battle, I imagine, or the the Dungeon Guardian battle. I mean, I think I killed it three or four times. I don't remember how many times. Torches, chest. Well, these these stack now, so I guess I'll take those. <laughs> and that's about it. There's like two more chests, or I guess a bit a bit more than two. Some bombs. Well, Fed, we already looked at, and then this is empty all the way over to rockets, which only rockets available pre skeletron are flares and arrows chest. That's it. That's the enemy spoils room. So, we got the first day bloom room here. Uh, kind of tiny, don't really use it anymore, but it's there. This is where I store day bloom. I should probably move these chests to where my actual day bloom farm is. Day bloom. That's when I built it. 2 1 2020, I guess. So, that was, you know, like three years ago. Pretty crazy. So, then we got this area that I like to call. I think it's Skyward stuff. This is the area I like to call the, the hotel area. It's alive. Clouds for some reason. Living wood shit. I need to move all these chests into one area so I don't have to randomly search for them. But like, yeah, granite shit. This this is a mess. Like, just look at the mini map. What is this? This is what Vine Sauce would refer to as, uh, what does he say? Like clown vomit? <laughs> Sandstone shit. Got paint related. 
pretty cool when you paint a gold chest four different colors. I actually even use it a bit of it. Um, I had to use that in the pixel art. Like I made a key tin from Minish Cap and a rock chew from Minish Cap. This was pretty decent. I'm proud of that. I got a giant amethyst gem spark block trying to spell boss arena. Was not working out too well. I just have shoved so much. Whoa, that's creepy looking. I don't remember this being like this creepy looking. Did they did they improve the sprite for that? <laughs> anyway, I'm distracted. So there's a bunch of crafting stuff down here, but that's not the only place I have that kind of thing. Bunch of random paintings, bunch of random blocks. You can see that with your own eyes. You don't need me to tell you that. Okay, so here we got Deathweed. This is the Deathweed farm. Just skipped right past the vanity room, but just look how cool this looks. So this was like 200,000 clay or something crazy. It used to take six clay blocks to make one clay pot, now it takes five. Buff came a little bit too late, I'm afraid. Well, not completely, because down here I have a blink root farm, which is even bigger. So that'll help when I make that room. The fire blossom room also looks really cool whenever you have that completely mature and ready to be harvested. So I have about, what is that, like 25,000 deathweed? More deathweed than you'll ever need in your entire life. I, I don't know why I made it this big. I guess I was like, I was expecting brand deals or like a car, some cartels to come come want, come by, not why. So I got, these are the boss mass that I have so far. I don't have the brain of Cthulhu for some reason. I guess because I just haven't fought him that much. Deerclops kept trying to be a hero when I was fighting the Dungeon Guardian. Didn't appreciate that. How much Fire Blossom. A little bit less, 21,000. Vanity Room, yeah, 217. Man, I got so much shit that I have like, a sharpening station, just chilling. Elephant in the room, this huge room right here. This is my boss arena. These are fog machines. I spent so much money in this room, like, I don't even want to know how much room. Like, 80 platinum just on fog machines. You can see the item frames with random items in it as well, all the way across. And those, those beach balls don't stack. I had to buy, like, an inventory full, put them all in here, and then go back and buy more. <laughs> so... Yeah, this is just kind of... I don't know what it is, but I don't think an explanation is really required. You can kind of just see for yourself how ridiculous this room is. Um, to the right of that, you can see the sunflowers perfectly spaced as well. Below that is a room that I can't make yet. It's the... well, this is the refined bars room, yeah. But this is the banners room. I'm gonna have every banner in the game here. Can't, I was going to have dungeon brick walls here, but you can't break dungeon brick walls until you've beaten Skeletron, which I think... I mean, it's the law, but I don't I don't agree with it. So the most thing I have is Crimson. The Crimtane, I guess. Kind of looks like a derp face, like a, a really big mouth smile with like a grin and eyeballs. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. So this is... Every one of these is a thousand. It's, it's like a hundred or something off at the top because I needed to make the tree farm keep going, but... So this is like one, two, three, four, five, six, like basically 6,000 Crimtane. This was made when bars only stacked to 99, I believe. So them stacking to 999 kind of made it less impressive. Maybe it was even made when, it, when they stacked to 999. But e even so, them stacking to 10,000 now kind of invalidates the room. You could have an entire, all the way to the top stack one of these in your inventory, no problem. No questions asked. Iron and lead, I'm using for buckets, because I don't ha I didn't have... I said it in the present tense, because I'm still not even... I haven't played that much of the new updates, but... Now that you can get the bottomless water bucket in pre-hard mode, that's going to make my life so much easier. So we're skipping over a bunch of stuff here. Um, I think I'm going to... I think it's going to make more sense if I do that, because... Let's just do these huge rooms, get them out of the way, so I can actually make it all the way up here with my bono balloons and wings. This is a room that is is called... This looks cool, by the way. Nifty. This is a room called the Wings Testing Shaft. Equalize Vanquish six Dungeon Guardians. Okay, so yeah, it was six Dungeon Guardians. I'm glad I wrote it down, because I forgot. Yeah, even even Deer Clops himself tried to stop me, so I, I was called Equalize at the time. So this is the Wings Testing Shaft. Basically the top of the map, all the way down to hell. Um, I even got distracted and started building a cave area for the... Uh, the goblin to live. We'll check that out whenever we get there, but in the meantime, this thing looks cool. This has, like, very little purpose, but it looks cool. So this is this is called the Omnitron. We'll get to that at some point, I'm sure. So the whole point of the Wings testing shaft is I was gonna test, like, every form of, uh... I don't need your smart doors. I'm smart enough without them. Without them. Anyway, so this is the Blink Root Root. I got a bit of Undertale inspiration here. This is Asgore's Trident kind of inspired. Oh, thanks, man. I needed that reassurance. So... <laughs> 
It's kind of hard to tell if the blink roots are growing or not. There's like a few vaguely yellow pixels. Blink root, I had a blink root farm up top. We'll see it in a sec, but it's just way too small. And this is outdated. Fix that. Look at how outdated I was.